All right, what we want to do tonight, we want to redo, and good morning to some, our video from earlier because we were having sound technical difficulties. So it seems like we have everything back up and running and everything is in place. So we're going to do our best again to bring you the information on the Los Angeles Lakers and the Phoenix Suns. As I was saying earlier, to me, in my opinion, the Lakers will not beat the Suns in this series because the Phoenix Suns are digging down deep and they're finding that will to win. And it seems like things are putting the Lakers in position or in opposition of finding last year's success. Am I saying that the Lakers team as a whole are a bust? No, I'm not. But what I'm saying, there's something missing that was there in the bubble that I don't see this year. There's an intangible or some intangibles that are missing. Maybe it's Ray John Rondo. Maybe it's JaVale McGee. I don't know. But it is Where not the smaller the team. team. The Phoenix Suns are able to capitalize on the Lakers' size and pull out a win in Los Angeles. So let me let you hear the video of LeBron James talking about Anthony Davis's injury. We'll be right back. Hey, LeBron, what was no most notable without AD uh, as you guys started the third quarter in the game plan with him versus without uh, two totally different things? How did you guys try to adjust on the fly today? Uh, well, obviously, you have a, a game plan going into a game, how you want to execute offensively and defensively. And, uh, you know, the one thing that you can't uh, predict if, if one of your you know focal points go down. And uh, obviously, you know, that was uh, big for our team and being able to try to adjust on the fly after having a game plan was was challenging for us. And uh, but more importantly, you know, the health of AD is what's most important for, for our ball club. Just with the uncertainty of him surrounding this going into game five, LeBron, how did you approach it as a leader uh, with the rest of the group? And uh, what, what is the key in the film room as you guys try to come up with some of the formula? Oh, well, I mean, it's next man up. And obviously, um, if he's not ready for game five, it's going to be a tough blow for our ball club. But, you know, next man up. And uh, we've been like that all year. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to be like that in the hostile environment in game five. Dave. Hey, LeBron. So the next man up obviously would uh, be referring to who would take his place in the lineup. Uh, but if AD plays or and he's limited or even if he doesn't play, how does your role, uh, how does that fluctuate? As the movie, as the series moves forward, um, we'll see. Bill, LeBron, you went through a, a groin injury two years ago that obviously uh, kept you out for a long time, and obviously two different, two different groins here. But um, based on your experience with with that injury, what does that do to kind of your ability to be optimistic about what AD might be able to give you the rest of the way and in this series? Um, I'm not, I don't know the severity of, of his groin injury. Um, I have no idea. I haven't talked to him, uh, so I'm not quite sure. Um, you know, I, I, I tore my groin uh, on Christmas Day in Golden State and uh, rehabbed, rehabbed, and rehabbed until I was able to get back on the floor and um, still wasn't um, where I was before I tore it, um, you know, my first year with the Lakers. Um, so, I, you know, I worked my tail off in the offseason, um, you know, just to get back to, you know, playing at a, uh, a restrict, uh, unrestricted, um, you know, level. So uh, I can only speak from my experience. I can't, uh, I'm not, like I said, I don't know the severity of his injury. Uh, and until we know, uh, I'm not going to comment on it. It's amazing that when you listen to this particular interview, that those who are interviewing him are struggling. His level of respect and respond denotes what they say and how they say it. I've never seen this before. Yes, I have with Kobe Bryant. They're very selective in the way that they interview LeBron James compa compared to other players. And the funny thing is he, he's so smart that he goes away from the question of Anthony Davis and who might fill his shoes or his role. There's so much you will learn if you just listen to the game of basketball and the things that go on as individuals are speaking or talking. So like I said in my narrative tonight is that in my opinion, I just feel that Phoenix has something deep down inside that they have to prove to themselves, and they're not going to go home empty-handed. Remember, Devin Booker had an amazing bubble playoff experience last year. And consider this, 
This series against the Lakers, he's kind of been absent. So he's due a breakout game. Chris Paul with his shoulder, he still held and he drove the ship in the right direction of a win. Am I a Phoenix Sun fan? No. Am I a long life Lakers fan? Yes. I can give you information that most don't know. That's how long I've been watching the Lakers. All I'm saying is there's something missing that was there last year that we're not seeing this year. I've never seen LeBron James as the team is about to lose or losing cry as much. Am I saying he's doing something negative? No, that's not what I'm saying. But all of a sudden, when things go south, he needs the referees to bail his team out and even himself. You know what? I want to do segue right quick. And I want to say thank you to all those who subscribe to our channel. Thank you to all those who have become a part of Big J Let's Talk and DMAC Let's Talk. We really appreciate you for those who live stream with us and help based on information needed to provide conducive information for our audience. We say shout out and thank you again. If you have not yet done so. Please hit that red button below called subscribe. Once you do that, go over to your right and tap on that bell so you'll be notified when we upload content. Also, do me a favor, smash that like button. And if you feel to do so, leave a comment on the subject of the Lakers because I would love to dialogue with you and love to talk. If you are a Lakers fan, why do you feel and why do you think that they will beat the Phoenix Suns? And my question is, why did they lose their game tonight even though AD went down? Is AD that big of a contributor? He can't make a difference? So what am I saying? Who will step up for AD? I love how Dennis Roder is playing. I love how LeBron is playing. All right, but who will step up? And do they need AD to beat the Phoenix Suns? Hey, you've been on with Big J, and you know what time it is, and you know what I'm going to say. Be the best, and the best you will become. Always be true to thine self. God bless you. Have an amazing morning, night, or afternoon, wherever you are.